Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to our Don't Argue podcast. Hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're new, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff there. Before I get into things though, formalities and all, hit that intro. Alright guys, here we go. I, I don't think I need to understate this. This is a very big game. I'm obviously in the... You know, as, uh, in the life of a Frio fan, um, there's always a, f- a few certainties, and, and obviously one of them is playing the Eagles twice per season. Um, the Eagles coming, uh, you know, off off a, a loss against the Crows in, in a game that, that they could have, you know, probably stood up and played harder in. Look, to be fair with you guys, I don't really care about the Eagles. Um, my, my understanding, though, when it comes to Frio fans and the Eagles is, there, there are some that sort of support the Eagles because they're the other WA team. Uh, there's some who, I suppose, uh, you know, would probably barrack for them, you know, I suppose any other day of the week as long as they're not playing Frio. And I suppose there's some in the other camp where they just absolutely don't like them, full stop, don't care about them. And that's where I sort of sit, um, as I said this passively, aggressively. Now, look, in all honesty, I'm not even sure if you guys know, but the last time Frio have actually had a clean sweep against the Eagles was in 2013. 2013 that's right we all know what happened that year right um a lot has happened since but i just thought i'd uh, throw that information there and obviously for those of you who are unsure what sweep means basically means the last time Fremantle beat the eagles twice in one season in the afl uh, sporting calendar now we look into this game here and, and and it's a home game for Fremantle. we look at this game here as a game to win that's the be all end all reality of it all um obviously if you, you turn the clock back last year or even the year before that or even the year before that to be fair you guys would have don't really like going over obviously things are a bit different but now for the first time you know, freeman will have a genuine chance at actually sweeping the eagles yes it is actually a big deal now the eagles are coming into this week i believe tim kelly's out due to suspension Obviously, Josh, uh, you know that that Josh Kennedy's out. He's 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 retired. He's gone. So again, there's a lot of leverage that that I suppose weighs in uh, in Frio's favor. Now, again, I'm not sure what the team selection looks like. Very happy about Chappie getting the extension though. 2027. Yes. Um, obviously, again, I'm, I'm imagining the team will probably be very similar to what it was against um, the Bulldogs. Bar say, for example, if Fife and or Swidder were to make some miraculous recovery and come and play this week. This game here against the uh, Eagles, though, as mentioned before, can't be understated. It's a game that is important for us. We need to really look at this game here as, again, um, you know, we, we, we beat the Bulldogs, which is great. But obviously, again, we got the Eagles and then, you know, I suppose further to them is then the uh, the Giants. And to be fair with you guys, looking at this game here, we need to treat this game as if our finals hopes to depend on it, really. That's the reality. Uh, we can't take this team here lightly. Um, we all have heard of the wo- you know a wounded animal and sometimes how uh, when a wounded animal is, is I suppose in defense mode just how scary they can be sometimes even arguably are scarier than when they are healthy now with the Eagles here um, to be fair with you guys I, <clears throat> I I don't even really care about um, where they're at the moment what's been happening to them their form I don't look I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to be fair with you if you're an Eagles fan looking at this I, I make no apologies it is what it is this is the bed I sleep on regarding my thoughts on the Eagles. But again, it's about, it's about you know, Frio's home game. It's about treating this team here with all due respect, basically, right? And, and, and I think that's the reality of it all. And, and, and I think that's, that's probably as nice as I'll be regarding the Eagles. It's about treating them with respect. Don't, doesn't matter about where their position is on the ladder. I, I don't care. You know, Fremantle, we need to look at this game as if, like I said, our finals depend on it. It's about going in there, trying to win, win well, play well, play hard. But again, trying to go in for that sweep, the sweep victory. The, the, you know, being the Eagles twice hasn't been done since 2013, as I said before. Again, for Freeman, it's about um, using this game here as, a, as a, a platform to improve on what needs to be improved on, work on what needs to be worked on. And I suppose at the same time as well, cleaning up anything that is that I suppose needs to be cleaned up, which to be fair view has, has been a lot, right, since Freeman all well i suppose since the last month to be fair with you guys the win against the bulldogs though cannot be under can, cannot be understated again i'm using that word again but you know it, it can't be um i suppose uh, looked at 
you know, just purely as a win against a, a struggling team. The, the, the Bulldogs were hungry. They were determined. To be fair with you guys, they probably would have. They, they could probably could have beaten any other top eight team. You know, I reckon they could have. You know, but we just <laughs> hung in there. We dug in there. We 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 showed our desperation too. All right, and that's how we need to go into this game here against the Eagles. Does not matter if they're wounded. Does not matter if they're playing well. All right, I expect this to be a win, but not only that, a good big win. I expect Frio to really go out here. And, and to be fair with you guys, Fremantle, let, let's be honest, they owe us a win at home, right? They owe us a win at home. It's, it's, we haven't won at home for, for over a month or so. Um, obviously losing to the Swans, losing to Melbourne at home, right? When you had a plethora of fans coming to watch those two games and to walk away with, with you know, losses, not only is it sour taste, but it sucks and... Fremantle, it's just not what we're about. We shouldn't be like that. We should be a team that should be strong at home, whether we're versing the Swans or whether we're versing the Eagles or the Roos or, you know, any other team. Melbourne, Carlton, whatever. We need to be strong at home, all right? And uh, we'll do for a good win, a big win, um, to be fair with you guys. And and like I said, I, I say this respectfully, you know. The reality is, Freo, we need this win, Uh even though we've made the finals, we still need a win. Obviously, we want to try and get into the top four somehow by some miracle. But um, nah, it's, it's no hold bars, no holds barred. Sorry against against the Eagles, no prisoners. We really need to take this team and and absolutely smash them. You know, think about the times when the Eagles used to absolutely romp us right a few years ago, when they had the upper hand. It's time for us to do the same. Uh, but this time, obviously, make make good work with it, um, big, good work on it, and with, with reason too. All right, we need to, uh, yeah, let, let this be a defining moment in our legacy, right? In the team's legacy where we move forward and uh, may we continue to dominate the Eagles, all right? There's another team I love beating more than the Eagles. It's as simple as that. And, and you see my smile. Um, I mean, there's really another team I love beating more than the Eagles. Um, I guess, you know, I don't know, name a Victorian team, whatever, afterwards. But it's, it's time to uh, put them to bed, the Eagles. But I'll continue to do so and I'll let this be a platform that, that we can sort of ride on it and go on with for, for, for a few years to come, actually. But um, yes, it's time to be, uh, show no mercy. Show no mercy. Anyway, give me your thoughts. Thanks again, guys, for, for watching. Uh, thank you again for commenting. Thank you again for your support. I appreciate it. I'm on the gram, well, actually my personal Instagram. But uh, look and saying that I might create a, you know, I, I have Twitter. Right, a, a um, don't argue podcast Twitter. I might have a don't don't argue podcast Instagram. I might do that as well. Give you guys regular updates and all that stuff. But in saying that, in saying that, sorry, wow, I'm done. Take it easy. See you guys next time. Just remember, Eagles, we're coming for you. No mercy. Don't argue.